ranking the best most fear cards in Madden 25. And boys, we're back here with another release of most feared. Before we get into today's video, I do want to talk about our sponsor real quick, MMOEXP.com. If you guys want an alternative to buying packs, consider buying coins at MMOEXP and make sure to use code DILLA checkout for 5% off your order. And now right before we do go ahead and go over the cards that are dropping today, I do want to take a look at the old tier list right here and want to talk about some things that are changing for me. So first off, I think Divine Diablo is no longer a top two middle linebacker given that Fred Warner dropped. So this is going to be a card that drops down into the great tier for me. I'm also going to go ahead and drop down Jordan Poyer as well. I, I do think Cam Chancellor is a better card and I just kind of forgot to drop Jordan Poyer in the last update. And besides that from this best of position tier, I'm also going to drop down Champ Bailey, Micah Parsons, and AJ Brown. Now the first couple of cards we are going to go over are slightly older cards, but I did want to cover them because they are part of the most feared drop. We got Randy Moss first up right here and he is six foot four, 210, 91 speed, 89 acceleration, has 88 short running, 90 medium route running, 90 deep route running. And I love the taller receivers in the game. I love the fact that they did give Randy Moss an additional two speed. I think Randy Moss is an easy addition to this best at position. And I don't even hate to take that he's the best receiver in the game. Now after that, we do get Darrell Rivas right here. And Darrell Rivas is five foot 11. So he is a little bit shorter, has 90 speed, 88 acceleration, 85 agility, 90 change of direction. He also has 90 man coverage and you could get him up to 90 zone really easily. I don't think Darrell Rivas is a top three corner in the game. I think Darrell Rivas is more along the lines of say like Champ Bailey, like in this great tier once again. You know what? We're going to go ahead and break up this great tier a little bit. I'm just going to drop everyone down. So yeah, I did go ahead and split up this great tier a little bit. I think the great tier right now is like undebatably a lot of like top two to top three uh, potential players. While I think the cards in the good tier are more along the lines of like, you know, around like that four to like five range. And again, I still like Brady. I still like Taysom. I like Purdy. I feel like the great tier for quarterback will make sense in a second. And we also did get Terrell Suggs as well. And Terrell Suggs is six foot three, 87 speed, 86 acceleration, has great finesse moves, power moves, block shit, impact blocking, and for traits. All three pass rush traits on yes. And if we go ahead and go to the left outside linebacker position right here, Terrell Suggs, I think is the best left outside linebacker. So he is going to go ahead and join best of position for me. Now every card that we're covering is dropping today, targeted around 1.30 p.m. Eastern. And we got Malik Hooker first up. Six foot two, so pretty decent height. 86 speed, 88 zone. Not the worst card in the world. You could get the zone up to 90. And I think if you get the zone up to 90, I can go ahead and slightly place him in this mid tier. Not a terrible budget option. And then right after that, we get Jamal Williams, who is six foot, 224, 85 speed, 88 trucking, 89 break tackle. Not the best catching. I feel like the physical stats for running back at this point are just a little bit too low. So Jamal Williams is going to be in this trash tier for me. We also get Dalton Schultz, who is six foot five, 244, 86 speed, has 76 run block, 85 shore running, 85 medium as well. So hits that 85 level for both. I like Dalton Schultz cards. I like the fact that he's really balanced. Kind of remind me of a Dalton Kincaid last year. They kind of didn't give Dalton Kincaid a running block this year, but Dalton Schultz for me, man, I I'm going to go ahead and place him in this mid tier. I don't feel like he's a bad budget uh, tight end at all. We also get Jamel Dean and Jamel Dean is six foot one, 87 speed, 87 acceleration, has 87 man coverage with 84 zones. So you could potentially get the zone up to 85. If you do that, he's again, kind of like, okay. I would play, he's either like, of course, trash or in the, uh, what's called mid tier. Is he good enough for mid? I'll slightly place him there. I do think Emmanuel Forbes is better though. We also get 87 overall juice uh, Scruggs right here. And this card has 89 pass block power, 85 pass block finesse, 84 run block, all the way across the board, really solid stats for the center. So this is going to be another card that really isn't that bad, man. I'm going to go ahead and place juice uh, Scruggs in the, uh, what's called mid tier. We also get Devin White right here. Now we do not see Devin White's zone coverage. And I think he could rank even higher if he does have good zone. Usually they give him kind of like just okay zone, but he's all out physical stats for the linebacker, uh, not a pass rusher, 89 speed, 89 acceleration. I think this is good enough though to at least make him like a decent budget option, right? Like he might not have the greatest uh, zone coverage in the world from a uh, core rating standpoint, like physical stats wise, I think he can get the job done. We also get Deontay Banks right here and Deontay Banks has 88 speed, 90 acceleration, 87 man, but lower zone, lower play rec, man to man corner. And I think it makes sense for him to be on the same level as Jamel Dean and also Emmanuel Forbes. Uh, Jamel Dean being on this level, one speed point slower, but he actually has decent zone coverage and you could get it up to 85. So yeah, I don't mind these guys 
guys for a potential budget. And now we get into the 90 overalls where first up we have Nico Collins. Nico Collins is six foot four, 89 speed, has 90 short running, 89 medium, 88 deep. And honestly, I just feel like he's kind of worse Randy Moss, which isn't really like a bad thing. Like I want to pick up Nico Collins. I want to use him. I also think he's a little bit better than Mike Williams. So I do like the fact that we broke up the, uh, the great tier a little bit. I feel like he's a nice in between of Mike Williams and Randy Moss. He's going in the great tier for me. We also get Trent Williams right after that. And Trent Williams has 86 pass block finesse, 89 pass block power, 91 run block. But if we go ahead and look at the left tackle position right here, I still think Jake Matthews has the better balance. Like he has 89 run block, 90 pass block finesse, 91 pass block power. So for me, I think Jake Matthews is better, but Trent Williams obviously still like probably second best left tackle in the game. Gonna place him in the great tier. And right after Trent Williams, we get Von Miller and Von Miller has 89 speed, 90 finesse moves, 83 power moves, 90 block shit. And we're gonna check a couple of things right here. We're gonna go to Von Miller's previous card to look at his traits. And I believe he's someone that, yeah, he has every pass rush trait on yes, which isn't really a bad thing. Um, for this card though, you would only want the spin and swim. So he'd only use 90 finesse moves. I feel like that would make him a little bit crazy. But if we go ahead and go to the right end position right here as well, is Dwight Freeney or Micah Parsons better than Von Miller? I think Dwight Freeney with the fact that he only uses finesse moves, like given his traits, I think I'm taking Dwight Freeney over this card. So I'm going to go ahead and place Von Miller also in the great tier. He's like right there. Top three right in in the game. Him and Micah Parsons literally right by each other. I think that makes sense. And we also get Lamar Jackson right here. Now, this is going to be the, the card of the video where we might disagree where he ranks because I can see the argument that this card is the best quarterback in the game. And I'm going to have like one counterpoint and you might not think the counterpoint is valid. I'll explain in a second. So Lamar from a core rating standpoint, 90 speed, hits all the actually thresholds, 89 throw power. Looks like the best mobile quarterback in the game. Now for Lamar's release right here, we'll go ahead and take a look at his card real quick. Um, he has three quarters. One is a release. I thought his release was fine. Uh, should get the gunslinger ability as well. So release isn't really an issue on the card. My biggest issue with Lamar, okay, is the fact that he's going to have terrible hot route animation. If you guys use core elite Lamar Jackson, or if you guys have played with Lamar and regs, he does this thing where he like plays with this towel or whatever, and it just makes the hot route miserable. Pretty similar complaint to what I had about like Purdy. Basically any non-legend quarterback gets like those terrible hot routes. So yeah, Lamar, that's like, in my opinion, his one weakness. Now when we look at quarterback, the reason why I'm also going to say he's not the best, we should be getting an AP update soon. For me, I think Andrew Luck's going to be the best. Hear me out. This is why, because say for instance, offense goes up one AP, right? I think the value of getting gunslinger with the backyard QB X factor is pretty crazy because this is kind of like Howard Master on and off. I like that. Or again, you could go Gunslinger gift wrapped and I understand that as well. If And if offense goes up two AP, then maybe it's Gunslinger gift wrapped and backyard QB X factor. Again, I think that's crazy. So for me, I'm going to still say Andrew Luck is QB one. I understand you saying Lamar is the best quarterback in the game and I'm going to be picking him up. I'm going to be using him. Maybe I will change my mind today. We will be using him live on stream. But yeah, really for me, the main reason I don't want to put him best in position, uh, I think Andrew Luck's X Factor will be better in like a day because Randall Cunningham comes out and the AP has to go up or you just can't use that feed lead. So yeah, that's my thought process behind that. Hopefully that makes sense. I know a lot of people will just have Lamar easy best of position, but I'd probably still lean Andrew Luck right now. And right after that, we do get DeForest Buckner right here. And DeForest Buckner is six foot seven, 295, has 81 speed, 80 acceleration, 92 block shit, 88 finesse moves, 80 power moves. And now we look at Buckner's previous card right here. He actually only has the swim move trade on yes, which is actually really nice for his cards. Um, I always feel like they play good when they give him high finesse moves. And I wish he would hit 90 finesse moves. Then we're talking about someone that maybe I could see best of position, but I think he's worse than Chris Jones. But this is still a great level card in the game. Gonna play some here. One of the better DTs in the game. And now it's time for all the LTDs. First one up, we got Nick Bolton. And this is a card that I think has some major weaknesses. He does have some strengths, of course, as well. Uh, the 90 speed, the 89 experience. So that's great, but lower zone and also he's five foot 11. I don't love the card. I'll be honest. I really don't. And I like Divine Diablo more than this card. Also, when we look at Nick Bolton's uh, previous card, I believe he had super low change. Yeah, he had super low change of direction as well. I think that's another weakness for me. It's the fact that he's shorter, doesn't have zone and will likely have very bad change of direction. I'm going to go ahead and still place him in the good tier. I feel like him by middle linebacker Sue kind of makes sense because I feel like the one weakness of the card is really their movement. I feel like Sue 
used cards really aren't moving well. And then after that, we get Bijan Robinson right here. And Bijan, 5'11", 215, 90 speed, 90 excel, 83 catching, 90 change of direction, 91 break tackle. Bijan, when he gets upgrades, his cards feel super smooth. Now, I don't think he's the best running back in the game. I think that's Kamara or Joe Mixon. I think he's still, again, though, like debatably top three running back in the game. I'm going to go ahead and place him also in the great tier. And then after that, we get a first ballot Mutt Hall of Famer for me. This card, if you guys use his Corley, oh man. Evan Ingram getting an upgrade right here. Six foot three, 240. Has like the perfect receiver model at tight end. Now, this isn't going to fit everyone's scheme, of course. If you do want to go ahead and be a little bit more of a runner, or like that's your game. 67 run block, obviously not ideal. But as a pure receiver, 90 speed, 91 short running, 87 medium. I think this is the best tight end in the game. So Evan Ingram is going to go ahead and join the best at position tier for me. And he's probably my favorite most feared card that is dropping. Or my favorite has to be Tariq Woolen. I mean, Tariq Woolen is six foot four. And I don't hate to take that you think height is more important than speed on defense hell even offense i get it but 90 speed 90 excel six foot four 91 zone 88 man coverage 90 press i feel like Tariq woolen is the best corner in the game because he's six foot four and yeah i think the top two cards of the promo i think it might be woolen and ingram and then randy moss in third so yeah boys this has been my updated thoughts on all the most feared cards in Madden 25 Ultimate Team. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments because I know some people will kind of not like this good tier, but I feel like they're all kind of similarly ranked for me throughout where they are in the game, if that makes sense. So yeah, boys, hope you guys did enjoy the video today, man. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And again, if you guys do want to go ahead and see me pick up some of these most feared cards live, we will be picking up Tariq Woolen, Evan Ingram, Lamar. Um, who else are we picking up today? I think that's the big three for me today. If you guys do want to see that, make sure to go ahead and hit that noti bell as well. You'll be notified every time I upload or go live here. Or if you guys want to watch on the Twitch, check the links in the description. Hit that Twitch with a follow. But if you guys do want another video to watch, check out this one right here.